right friends welcome back to questions and answers advanced this is 47th week from 16th to 22nd november look at the first question drug price regulator nppa is under the ministry of chemicals and fertilizers nppa you may ask what is nppa this is a national pharmaceutical pricing authority and this is under the department of uh, pharmaceuticals under the ministry of chemicals and fertilizers and this uh, national pharmaceutical pricing authority you can say it is the drug price regulator so the first sentence is correct please don't forget it is under the ministry of uh, chemicals and fertilizers with the department of uh, pharmaceuticals the first sentence is correct if you look at the second sentence to implement and enforce the provisions of drugs prices control order 2013 in accordance with the powers delegated to it previously there was in the year 1995 drugs prices control order was there it is modified in the year 2013 that is drugs prices control order 2013 under this order this national pharmaceutical pricing authority can control the prices of certain drugs nppa can control the prices of certain drugs which are under national list of essential medicines there will be a list that is nlem that is national list of essential medicines the drugs under national list of essential medicines the prices can be controlled by nppa this is first point second point is it can control the prices of any other drug under extraordinary situations under normal circumstances it can control the prices of the drugs which are under national list of essential medicines so here the second point is also correct so basically nppa is with department of pharmaceuticals ministry of chemicals and fertilizers it is the drug regulator you can say and it controls the prices of essential medicines which are under national list of essential medicines third one is how it controls the prices of essential medicines are capped at the simple average prices of all the medicines in a particular segment that have a market share of at least 1% that means the price will be fixed based on that means the maximum price will be fixed based on the average of prices of all medicines in a particular segment and that particular drug should have at least market share of at least 1% so the given sentence is also correct so all 1 to 3 are the right sentences look at the next one talks are likely to resume with regard to the broad based trade and investment agreement when someone talks about the btia that is broad based trade and investment agreement that is between india and the european union please don't forget european union is the economic grouping economic political grouping of 28 nations and to ensure free trade between india and european union talks are going on since 2007 popularly known as broad based trade and investment agreement or btia and they were struck because european union was not satisfied with india's offer with regard to insurance government purchases and certain other aspects for automobiles wines and spirits that is one part the second part is that recently deliberations were stopped after european union banned around 700 generic drugs from india on charges of mal practices in clinical trials recently european union banned 700 generic drugs from india on charges of some mal practices of clinical trials so the deadlock occurred because of this decision of european union so these free trade agreement 
negotiations which is started in the year 2007 are going on for the past 8 years so free trade agreement between india and the european union is at to be concluded and if someone says a btia that is a broad based trade and investment agreement between india and european union FSSAI moved Supreme Court against the Bombay High Court order of a lifting ban on Maggi. Let me tell you few points. All of you are well aware about the ban on Maggi. Subsequently, Bombay High Court intervened and asked Maggi to send samples for testing with accredited laboratories. Maggi, that means Nestle, sent the samples and. all the parameters are within the limits and subsequently bombay high court allowed maggi for sale and maggi is now available for sale and it is available on the shelves but fssai which is the food regulator is not satisfied it stated that bombay high court allowed nestle to test the samples of their choice without any neutral authorities intervention that's why fssai is moving the supreme court against the decision of the bombay high court that is one aspect and second important aspect is fssai is the food regulator and it was established based on food safety and standards act of 2006 and most important aspect is this fssai is under the administrative control of ministry of health and family welfare government of india so these things are very important fssai is under the ministry of health and family welfare government of india it is the food regulator and recently it moved supreme court not satisfied with the decision of bombay high court in allowing nestle to sell maggi right look into the next one which of the following differentiates cess from tax all of you are familiar with the taxes there are several taxes imposed by center and the states and at the same time we are coming across several cess that is the road cess education cess clean energy cess now swachh bharat cess so lot of cesses are being implemented nowadays and how a cess is different from tax cess under normal circumstances should not be continued for longer duration so i have given three points here cess is imposed for specific purpose if it is a road cess it is for improving the road infrastructure if it is for higher education cess then it is for implementing or improving the education scenario in the country if it is a clean energy cess it is for promoting clean energy like that swachh bharat cess that is for maintaining swachh bharat so like that cess is imposed for a specified purpose second point is the revenues are to be used only for that purpose absolutely correct third point is by definition it is normally temporary measure this is also correct but unfortunately governments are continuing for indefinite period just like tax so the basic traits of cess are these three so the right sentence is all the above look into the next one refund of certain types of customs duties on import of raw materials when those raw materials are used to manufacture finished products which are meant for exports that is known as duty drawback let me explain you suppose a firm imported rubber a firm imported rubber let us assume that customs duty is 10% and the firm made tires with it rubber is used for making tires let us assume if the firm made tires with it and if the firm exports these tires then part of the customs duties which the government collected while importing raw materials will be given back to the firm because it is making its effort for promoting exports that's why some leverage is to be given some benefit is to be given that's why the 
part of the customs duties which the government collected while importing raw materials when these raw materials are used for export purpose by making finished products then part of the customs duties will be paid back that is known as a duty drawback and the government recently announced its policy on 23rd november please don't forget interpol introduced a new system to trace the illicit assets all of you are well aware about interpol and this interpol is basically the grouping of uh, various nations that means uh, several countries are members they will coordinate for arrest of various persons who have gone abroad by committing some crime in the country for that particular purpose all of you are well aware red corner notice will be given if interpol is giving red corner notice that is for arresting particular person who has committed some crime in one particular country and has gone abroad so red corner notice is issued by interpol and this interpol has got headquarters in lyon france established in the year 1923 and recently interpol introduced a new system to trace illicit assets and this notice is known as silver notice red corner notice is for arresting the person silver notice is basically to identify freeze assets illicit assets or illegal assets can be confiscated by interpol by issuing silver notice so please be familiar with the silver notice also in addition to red corner notice due to high acidic content the water in luka and maintu rivers turned blue named the state recently there was a serious environmental crisis when the water in two rivers that is luka and maintu turned blue because of high acid content the state we are talking about is meghalaya and the exact reason for the waters becoming acidic is not known but one version is the water became blue because of discharge from coal mines in the upper reaches but that is also not confirmed but overall the exact cause is not known and please don't forget these two rivers are in meghalaya look at the next one identify the incorrect one i have given a trade blocks here tpp trans pacific partnership this is trade pact or you can say free trade agreement between 12 pacific rim countries all of you are well aware recently in principle agreement was reached you may ask what is the trans pacific partnership this is the trade agreement between 12 nations pacific rim nations if you look at these 12 nations three are in north america two are in south america that is usa canada mexico peru chile then seven countries of uh, asia and australia region that is australia and new zealand that is oceania region and five countries of asia that is uh, singapore malaysia brunei vietnam and japan so these uh, 12 countries uh, in principally agree to form trans pacific partnership then rcep rcep is uh, regional comprehensive economic partnership this is a trade agreement which is at to be devised this is the proposed trade agreement between asian nations you may ask what is asian association of southeast asian nations and it's a six partner countries there are 10 nations in asian their six partner countries are india china south korea japan australia and new zealand so these the six are their partner countries so rcep is the proposed trade agreement between asean and six partner countries look at the third one ttip ttip is the proposed trade agreement between united states of america and european union ttip is a transatlantic trade and investment partnership this is the proposed trade agreement which is at to be concluded so transatlantic trade and investment partnership is the proposed trade agreement between united states of america and european union btip i have already told you 
broad based trade and investment partnership this is between india and european union so the third option is wrong third option please correct it the ttip is between united states of america and european union right friends look at the next question name the country whose parliament ratified the commercial sale of uranium to india recently australian parliament ratified the sale of uranium to india right look at the last question during 2015 memong norang and nijamabad the black pottery got gi tags you may ask what is the gi tag gi tag is the geographical indication what is meant by geographical indication by geographical indication that means if someone says kanchipuram sari darjeeling tea alfonso mangoes nagpur oranges then automatically it indicates the quality based on geography that means that is the native to particular region then only this geographical indication tag will be given nagpur oranges are famous across the country kanchipuram silk sarees are famous across the country so when someone says nagpur oranges that means geographically that is assigned to quality when the product is originated from that particular region of nagpur so geographical indication tag is given by registrar of geographical indications and based on the 1999 act that is geographical indication of goods act 1999 which came into force in the year 2003 this geographical indication tag or gi tag is given by the registrar of geographical indications and registrar of geographical indications is none other than controller general of uh, patents designs and uh, trademarks which is under the ministry of commerce and industry under department of industrial policy and promotion so the authority for issuing this geographical indication tag is controller general of uh, patents designs and uh, trademarks and this uh, geographical indication tag recently given for nijamabad the black pottery nijamabad is the place in ajamgarh district of uttar pradesh please don't confuse with the place in telangana this nijamabad this black pottery pertains to the place in ajamgarh district of uttar pradesh and second one is memong norang this got in agricultural category from meghalaya so someone says geographical indication tag please don't forget it indicates the quality and it also indicates that the product is a native to such particular region and it originated from particular region so friends with this let us conclude the questions and answers advanced please do join for other modules have a nice day thank you